<laughs> you did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. Period, period, period. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? Before I met you, I didn't really have. Didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like a total screw up. Like I couldn't do anything without, without ending up letting everyone down. But, guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. Just past MTT years old. Come on, let's finish this. Awesome. To the core. I like the background music for... I think it reminds me of... I think it reminds me of, like, the Donkey Kong Country though. Now, now, I could be completely wrong, because I haven't played Donkey Kong Country in, like, forever. But I think it reminds me of, like, the Donkey Kong Country levels with the, uh... The Blackout Basement levels. Not for sure if I went to Hotland, I'd sell some nice things. But nobody wants them, everyone's just eating stuff, eggs, and hamburgers. So... I'm having a going out of business sale. Would you like to buy some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart, now only 12 G. Here, you got the ice cream. <laughs> I'm gonna buy like three of these. Let's go to the side real quick. Oh, this is the stage. Cool. I'm gonna have to go look up that Donkey Kong music later. Hey, hey. Do you, do you remember my name? Did you? Yes. What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? What? <laughs> Face that thing. Always remember that you remember. The face that thing is making is quite hilarious. Oh, hey, Sansara. Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some, for some great deals. Talk to Sans first. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah. Great, thanks for treating me. Oh, is that right? Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Butto. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey. Let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. <laughs> I knock on the door and say, knock, knock, and suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dish is a very bad joke. <laughs> and she just howls with laughter, like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep him coming and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock knock. I say who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. 
Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. The virus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. That is a great friendship you have, Sans. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, and she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even- was it Tori that he was talking to? And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes. Yeah, Toria was making terrible jokes in that book, too. Has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? The promise I made to her. You know what would have to happen if she hadn't said what would happen. Oh yeah, if she hadn't said anything. Buddy. You'd be dead. Where you stand. Huh? Well, that was kind of threatening. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? Yeah. So what was with the mood with Lashy? Yeah. I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. That is not true. I've died a few times. Hey, what's that look supposed to be? Am I wrong? <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. If someone really cares about you. Thanks, man. That was... that was quite the story. Smooth egg, my son. He was always making these weird ice puns. I hated them, so he ran away from home. I think I should try to patch things up with him. Have you seen him? Have you seen my son? Well, there's quite a few snow drakes around. Snowed in there. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swap parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to attack, in order to foil human attacks. But now building things, winding, confusing, some, some awful tradition. You can't go two feet without you being up to your armpits in puzzles. That guy kind of reminds me of King Yama from Dragon Ball Z. Probably just because he's huge and red. Love, love, you'll have to reserve a table. You also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food. Your food. I'm gonna look around the other room here first. There's a performance schedule. Comedians, dancers, sands. <laughs> Seems there's a break now. Go figure, there's a break in sands, isn't it? Some kind of TV show featuring that time. Go figure. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and photos from busy and celebrities. The food is to die for, gorgeous style and fragrance, my face tastes beautiful. These are all metaton. Interesting. It's a platoon of ficuses. Fike eye? As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming these off of this ficus. It's a potted plant. <laughs> That's an interesting story. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel fills you with determination. 
I'm gonna walk back down here real quick and explore the outer area of this hotel. Um, alright, there's an alligator and this cat thing. Bye. Junk food, empty gun, cowboy hat, history. Probably someone's house. Lol. Was there a locked door? I would. If I was. If I had more than 60, 606 gold, I would buy that and try and figure out what it unlocked. But. Really cool music, too. I'm gonna buy a junk food. And now, we like really don't need anything to get us some burgers. I, I, uh, I tried, to, I tried to talk to you, not sell you things. All right, I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend. Okay. Uh. Dare I continue to talk to them? The stuff inside is like totally wicked expensive. But this is stuff we found is like totally wicked cheap. You should. I'm not gonna buy all of it. Origin of your wares. I mean, like, where does anyone get down so true that we found it in the garbage? I bought your junk food from the garbage. Ah, oh, okay. Save that for last. It's really good garbage. Where do we get the garbage? The garbage store? Um... Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in the dumpster. About Metaton. Metaton... He's my robot husband. Actually, he's like my robot. We're both going to marry him. We're both already married to him. He just doesn't know it yet. So, Dr. Alpha's built Metaton, right? That's like what they tell you. But Metaton always acts like being built was somehow his idea. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alphys was, his, was an old friend. But they're like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Daddy. Braddy. Best friends forever. Okay. About Alphys. Oh my god, Alphys. She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean like, a really big sister. Takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Anime and such, I have to bet. And she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So office is always like, thought Asgore is super cute. Oh god. So, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to totally impress him. A robot with a soul. It's like super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing that, Tom Asgore asked her to do all this science stuff for him. But nobody's seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She must just stay in her lab all day. Like a little little. Yeah, like this. About Asgore, he's big fuzzy goofball. Or he's a big fuzzy goofball. He's a total goober. Okay. He's so nice. I love that guy. So hyped for the destruction of humanity. I guess that I guess that summarizes um disaster movie enthusiasts too. <laughs> hyped for the destruction of humanity. Alright now we'll see what that means. 
Let's talk to this paper dude. Welcome to NTP Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building town hotel. Whether you're here for the night or staying at the NTT Resort, rides itself on a great rides itself on a great stage just passing through. Nice. NTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. Interesting. There's the description on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain built 21x at a time I added last week. This elevator goes straight to the cabin, but it stopped working. The hotel, the hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Yeah, I'm not gonna be home tonight, though. I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard we can eat up. Heat up. As I slime, I'm outraged. Okay. Uh, what is- what am I looking at? Yes, we know. The elevator of the city is not working. Except this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200G a room. Let's not stay because I don't have that much money. Do let us know if you change your mind. Have a spark either day. Let's go explore. Oh, I guess I walked. Ring. Huh? Who are they? Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well. We can't worry about that now. Click. Let's walk back a little. I'm gonna go explore the right side of this hotel first. Ooh, room service. Got my CT. No, you don't. It's locked from the inside. Ooh, room service. Got my cinnamon bun. No, you don't. <laughs> you hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. Hope you didn't have anything appealing. Seems busy. Then, <laughs> this reminds me of when I, that knocking on the door thing reminds me of uh, Dragon Age Origins, when the uh, people at the, uh, I don't remember, it was one of the places in Denerim, yeah Denerim is the capital, one of the places in the capital were like, there was this fake Grey Warden sympathizer group that had a password. And I sat there and guessed a whole bunch of them. Alright, anyway, this stuff is happening. I'll stop talking about trick videos. Ready? This is it. Take the elevators at the top of the core. Oh, am I gonna have to fight invisible dudes in the elevator again? Hey, why don't you try to use the elevator first? Oh man, watch out. Mad Jake pops out of its head. Clear mind. You ignore magic and think of falling in sunshine. Your defense increased by one. Please and thank you. Smells like magic. Talk. Magic interrupts you by chattering to itself. It seems satisfied. Please and thank you. Alright, I guess I'll spare it then. That was close. Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? You've just gotta keep heading forward. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. But those lasers will activate when you do. Um, looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it. Move until the third one. Cool. Oh, weird. You gave me the wrong order. Oh my god, are you okay? I didn't even take damage. Calm down. 
I gave you the wrong order. Who gave you the order? Who gave you the order? <laughs> Let's just keep heading to the right. The crossroads. Uh, uh, try heading to the right. I don't want to head to the right. Heading to the right probably gives me that. And night, night, night blocks the way. Talk. That's night, night about her day. There's no response. Good night. Oh god. Oh. Night, night smashes her morning star. You sing night, night and all the lullaby. Night, night stars to look sleepy. Ooh, a really cool design monster. Close your eyes. Oh, I'm not a fan of this move. I'll watch it quietly. Whatever. Close your eyes. Oh my god, so many different attacks. Need to heal. No scream. Oh. Guys. Oh wow, that was quite a bit of gold. Are you okay? Why didn't you head to the right? Come on, you trust me, don't you? I just wanted to explore first. Calm down. Alphys. Mmm, more lasers. Okay, I won't mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. And they're not turning off. I can't turn them off. I. It's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power for a whole node. Then you can walk across. Okay, go. I'm gonna turn back on as soon as I get to the second batch here. Green. Wait, wait, stop. The power is turning itself back on. Darn it! That's not supposed to happen. I. I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little. And then stop. Okay? You won't get hurt. More Donkey Kong comparisons. It's like Snap and Go Station. Ring. See, I've got everything under control. Everything's under control. Okay, you should. You should. I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry. I have to go. The air is filled with the smell of ozone and it fills you with determination. Poor French. Let's go to the left first. Nice. Oh, another, another one of these puzzles? There's a glam burger inside the trash can. Might as well. I bet it will heal me. Alright, so that's just where I came from over there. Just trying to make sense of what direction everything takes me. Oh sweet, a hundred G inside. 